Brick Fans, this is Dave from Brick 101, and today I'm going to show you how to build a brick head of Ash Ketchum from Pokemon. So I need to give a huge shout out to Alyssa Kirkpatrick, aka Dragon Bricks. She is the really talented designer who made this Ash Ketchum brick head. I ran into her at a Lego event back in December and she was selling this brick head as well as a Brock and Misty and they all look really phenomenal but the ash really blew me away so I knew I had to get it and I got permission from her to show you all how she built it here on Brick 101. Uh, if you want to see more of her work you can find links to both her Twitch and Flickr account in the video description or the top comment. I really love all the details she was able to pack in this brick head. His hair looks exquisite. Um, all the colors for his jacket and shirt and hat are spot on. It also shows you don't need fancy printed bricks or tiles to make a good brick head. If you just pay attention to colors and are really thoughtful about how you build it. All right, so let's dive in to building Ash Ketchum. To start out, we're going to build his legs, get some medium blue pieces, 2x4 plate, and then some 1x2s and a 1x2 in white. Make two little legs like that, stick them there. Now we've got some little jean pants. Next layer up, going to start with a 2x3 light gray plate in the center, do some one by fours in yellow on each side. Uh, this piece we'll just have to hang in the abyss for a second. Then we'll take a one by four blue brick to connect that on in the back. Do a two by four blue plate in the center. And then the front is gonna be some blue one by one bricks and then some dark green. Uh, hard to tell the exact color here. Uh, dark colors, hard to tell apart, at least for me but those are dark green as opposed to black or something like that. In the front there for his shirt. Then in the center, we'll take one of these brick heads bricks because uh, they really only started showing up in brick heads in bulk. So I just think of them as the brick heads bricks. Uh, so two of those on the side. Color isn't uh, really important. They'll be totally covered up. You can put a two by two of any color in the center there. On the back, we'll do some one by one bricks in blue. Then we'll do some one by two plates in black, two of those. And then in the front, some more one by one bricks in blue and two more in dark green. Here's a quick look at what we've built so far. Now we're gonna take a quick detour to build his backpack. Start with a 1x4 plate in green, build up a layer of brick on top of that, then get some of these 1x2 to 2x2 two two brackets, those down, can cover this all up with tile in whatever variation fills that space. Then some orange 1x2 plates with uh, the little groove on the end. Uh, that's a really nice part choice there. Adds a nice uh, detail to the line there. Next level, one by four plate in green. And um, this is the piece that's gonna connect it to his body. Two by two plate in white. Some places online have this part of his backpack as being a yellow detail as opposed to white. So if you're of that opinion, just sub in yellow there. As always, I try not to take a stance on color disputes. Uh, one by four curvy downward slope, finish off the backpack, and then that fits on top of those black one by two plates, um, filling out this part nicely. Backpack, backpack, backpack. For the arms, you're gonna get one of these interesting bracket pieces, which I have started calling Mark Brackets after Mark Larson from the Bendy build. Uh, so two of those in white, because we're gonna build two arms. Now down here, what she did for the hands is using one by one plate with circle clip and then a one by one tile. That's probably because this piece, which is typically used for brick heads, uh, hands is pretty rare. Lego hasn't produced many brick heads that actually use this piece in tan, um, so there's not a lot in the general <laughs> part pool. Uh, but if you have some, those can work there pretty well also. 
Uh, and then I like what she did here using one by two tiles to just like beef out the shoulders a little bit. It definitely gives like that puffy jacket sort of feel there. It's a nice little detail. Uh, and you're gonna mirror one of them so the hands are both forward. Okay, now building up from there, complete the collar with a one by four plate on each side, a white one by two in the back, and a tan one by two in the front can put two by two of any kind in the center here and uh, three layers above that two by twos of any kind of course having a pink one in the middle is of course a brick head signature but you don't have to if you don't want to then get 12 of these brick head bricks and start putting them all around that center column and then offset the layer above And now you've got a uh, snot-faced uh, brickhead person here. We're done, right? The end. For his face, gonna start with a four x four tan plate, then a one x four tile, one of these fun one x four tile with two studs on the end, another one x four tile. Top level is gonna be a one x one tile, one x one plate, and a jumper plate, all in tan, of course. Then we'll take the signature brick head eye tile and put those on, the two eye spots. Then these black one by one tooth plates uh, for little bits of his hair hanging down. And you know, you wanna angle them just so. The side of his head is where things start to really get interesting. So along the bottom, we're gonna do a one by one tan tile one by one tan plate, then a one by two black plate, some one by two black plates the next level up. Then we're gonna take this really interesting slope piece. It's kind of half plate, half slope. Um, I don't know what its official name is, but I'm gonna start calling it the Alyssa slope because she used a bunch and I've never really seen them so well used before. But there's gonna be four of those that go across the top. A Couple of them we'll just have to uh, hang on magically for a little bit, but uh, you can connect those with jumper plates. So one by two black jumper plates to the area right below. Then in the center here, fill this in, and let me get the shine on it so you can see the black pieces, uh, with one by two plates. And then this is gonna be one of those half pyramid roof slopes, uh, pointy piece. And then a one by two plate, another of those half pyramids, some black cheese slopes on each of the jumpers, and on the very bottom, some cheese slopes on that black one by two plate. So really great textured uh, look of hair going everywhere. Um, the way it's offset at different areas um, by using those, layered on those, it looks really great um, basically from every angle. Uh, looks a lot better in person than on camera because again, black is hard to film. Uh, but yeah, just really great hair. The other side of the head is gonna be a mirror image, so I'll go through it pretty quickly. Tan, one by one tile, and one by one plate. Black, one by two. Some more black one by twos, though this could be a two by two or a one by four. Uh, some Alyssa slopes across the top. Use a jumper and a cheese slope to anchor each one of those in place. Uh, some cheese slopes at the bottom. And in the center, some one by two plates or a two by two. Half pyramid one by two plate, half pyramid, boom. So yeah, his hair is really coming into shape now, both sides. Um, I think this is like the most impressive hair on a brick head ever. Just so wonderful and pointy. And we're not even done yet. For the back of the hair, I'm gonna start with some two by four plates or a four by four plate in black. Cover the top with uh, Lissa slopes. One, two, three, four, 
and then do some more Alyssa slopes sideways going down. Connect them with a 1x2 plate down here. Uh, give you some angles so you can definitely see how that all works. And uh, some cheese slopes at the very bottom. Then you're going to do some cheese slopes there and there and at the bottom so they're one level out from the other cheese slopes look at all those pointy edges uh, and then in the center a one by two plate two one by two plates and our good friend the half pyramid so yeah another phenomenal uh, piece of work uh, making his hair stick out in all the right ways and you can see now how it's all spiky all around and looks just really great. All right, last but not least, let's build his hat. So fill in this with a two by two plate of any color and shape. So then we're gonna build up some one by four red plates along the side. In the back, we'll use two more final Alyssa slopes to just be a little bit of hair peeking out of the back of the hat. Then we'll put a two by three plate on the front and a two by two brick of any kind in the middle there. And then some of these one by four curvy downward slopes in red for the front of the hat, the brim or the bill. Two one by two black plates stacked up filling in that last bit of hair there. Then a whole bunch of these tiny uh, curvy arches. We'll need six of them in red, three on each side. Two, three. Uh, and then in the front, we'll take a white plate and a green plate. Get that little bit of detail uh, in the hat. Then some white curvy arches on top. And on the very top, some tiles. White 1x2, red 1x2, a 2x2 red jumper, and to top it all off, a little 1x1 red round plate. Now, if you so desire, you can also build a little brick heads stand for him to go on. This is a 6x8 plate in black, and then it's just mostly covered up with tiles aside from the special brick heads tile down there if you've got a spare one of those and some one by two plates in the center there. And then you can set your ash and uh, go catch some Pokemon. And if you build this, you can also set it next to some of the Mega Constructs Pokemon sets, and they actually go pretty well together. Uh, Ash is obviously a ridiculous looking character as a brick head, uh, but he is kind of almost to scale here with those Pokemon. Um, so yeah, that's just a fun thing you could do to fill out your Pokemon-centric shelf. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to Brick 101, and check out all my other Pokemon videos. And don't forget to check out Alyssa's stuff on her Flickr and Twitch.